Breaking news. UN executives show support for Elena Omo Odua. Group urge Yoruba to get on with the liberation movement. Hello, my wonderful people. It's happening. Yes, so it's happening. Liberation movement. Whether you like it or not, this is becoming a statement. It's becoming big and bigger than you can imagine. When it started, it was like a little spark of fire. Guess what? President Muhammad Buhari has enhanced it, supported to be bigger. How do I mean, you may ask? His continuous, you know, um, going after Sunday Boho and the rest, Nandi Kano, uh, you know, for, for wanting Odudua has become a big deal as everybody's watching and saying, what? How did you get here? What are you doing this for? This is not acceptable. You know, putting them and going after them, declaring them wanted and all that has become a big issue that everybody is watching. You see, a former UN member is saying to... Omodua, it's time to move forward. Let's move this. Let's get it sailing because it's about time. You see Nigerian government pampering um, these people. But guess what? Pampering uh, repentant, in quote and unquote, repentant bandits. Why those who says we want out are now the new target? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Former UN executives support Elena Omodua group or GC Yoruba nation to get on with liberation movement. A former Yoruba self-determination group, Yoruba Kea, a liberation movement has asked all Yorubas to publicly show their support for Elena Omodua. The group threw his weight behind Elena Omodua and his leadership under Professor Banji Akintoye at the bone failed body of the coordinate to coordinate the activities of other groups towards the actualization of self-determination struggle of the Yoruba people. This was contained in a press statement by his director and media communication of organization Comrade Oluwatomi C. Femi on Tuesday. Femi acknowledged the progress made so far by the self-determination group in pursuit of the liberation of Yoruba people from the alleged forced marriage they, has, they have had to go through, according to him. Staggering through the country's development since the amalgamation of the two different regions, which has caused no progress for this side and rather a back stage for the Yorubas. The group further call on all well-meaning Yoruba self-determination group to publicly show their support for Elena Omodua in order to show unity of purpose, solidarity in everything, tying them together. This statement is, this statement is to necessitate the reason for us as individuals to work together as one and fly in fly together as one group under one umbrella we all coming together will make the statement loud and clear the public is hereby enjoined to shun the overturn of such dealers masquerading as yoruba nationalists in order to sustain their solidarity group but we work together that's the way we make progress we must ensure we stay as one one. That is where we can truly make progress. So, my dear, a former UN member is throwing his weight right behind Elena Omodua, saying it is time for liberation movement. It is time for the Yorubas to see themselves that this is time it is possible to achieve this. And how do we achieve it? Everybody coming together as one, giving their utmost support for the body because this unity is one thing that can destroy a people more than ever before but if everyone works together as one group one people you will be surprised how far things can go well yoruba nation has been the watchword for a while now and for this very purpose we know what has been happening to our very own brother sunday Igboho, for crying out to say it is time for the yorubas to get freedom liberation we know how things have been uh they've not um 
allowed him to be able to stand up and defend the cause of the Yoruba people. What has happened? They would rather want to hold him down and say, no, you cannot achieve this. Uh, this is not what we want. But the truth of the matter is whether they like it or not, eventually all will be revealed. The very cause of Yorubas wanting to have their own nation. If the government of Nigeria cannot live in an environment that is fair for all, in an environment that gives every everybody uh, equal to a large extent of uh, same opportunity, then I think it is time for others to say, you know what, why not? If not, what have I got to gain from the current um, situation that I'm in? Because Nigerian government again and again has proven to the people that they do not want people to live together as one, because if they do really want people to live together as one, they would have made things quite different and would have pursued the course of what would make us one. Rather, intimidation, threats, and a fixed hand is what this government is using against her very own people. So when you look at it, you understand that mm, unless something is done immediately to change the, what is going on, I mean, to give Nigeria a direction because we're in the hand of a leader who does not even know what's happening. That's the sad part. That's the worst thing that can ever happen to a people, any person. We are in the hands of a leader that does not even understand what's happening. He does not even know. So what does he do? Intimidation becomes the next yastic. If anybody does this, tell them they will go to prison. Anybody does this, tell them this will happen. So to intimidate the people, put them under subjection at all costs, costing, by all means trying to get them to bend. Yes, you've forgotten that. The reason people are together in the country and why they can coexist, not because there are no more intelligent people, that's why there is a document called the Constitution under which binds the people on how to govern, especially those who have not found their position, their place in the place and their position in a place of leadership. For one reason or the other, however you want to say it, they are there. They are the ones calling the shots. But you don't come to rule a country like you are ruling your home, directing your sons and daughters. It's not acceptable. It's not done. It's not done. So what do you do? You follow the guidelines. Sadly, this administration does not understand that language. Leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.